Hello, this is Dan and I just wanted to do a quick video on the view that I have outside of the hotel room here in Linz, Austria and uh, give a little overview of the hotel also. Um, so that there is the Danube River um, and I am definitely going to be checking that out uh, pretty soon. You can see it is overcast, we actually have like an 80% chance of rain for most of the week, but so far Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, look really, really good. Uh, looks like the traffic is backed up pretty bad on the bridge over there. Um, actually, traffic coming in here wasn't bad, but I was coming in like mid-morning, and but I was on like 30 hours without sleep, and um, yeah, so my brain wasn't working very well. So I took a little nap, and now I'm, I'm here checking out the Danube and the stuff around. That big building is the... Uh, Bruckner House uh, Music Hall. So um, yeah, it looks like it's got some nice windows on the riverfront side, so I'll probably take a peek in there a little bit. And then uh, over here, it looks like we have some sort of, I don't know if that's office building or, you know, light commercial or something like that. I'd have to look up what those, um, what those uh, companies are there. Um, but pretty typical kind of downtown. Um, and then off in the background there, you can see like more like the cathedral like um, architecture, which is pretty cool. So um, like I said, when I was driving in here, I was pretty much focused on, on just not getting into an accident, um, which driving was, was, you know, pretty much exactly what it would have been like in Wisconsin. Um, except the roads are a little bit narrower and um, you know I, I elected to get a manual transmission car because I like them and that's actually what I drive at home anyway so I kind of wanted a comparison but the one I got is pretty junky um, I don't even know what brand it is I'll have to do a video of that um, but yeah that that's pretty much the view that I have here um, you know the weather is comparable to, to home and so far, the experience has been great. Um, just got a little turned around in the airport, but yeah, that happens to me in pretty much every airport that I go to. So yeah, now I'll just pan around here and I'll show you the room. There's a nice big mirror. Um, so yeah, some things that I noticed right away. Um, this uh, teeny little fridge. I mean, it is teeny teeny. So. I haven't really checked out what's all inside, but uh, we got, looks like some sort of vegan orange juice. Got some wine in the back, all right. Apple juice. Johannes beer. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but I might give that a whirl. Um, I assume we got a Coca-Cola. We got, I, do, I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. Maybe a soda, maybe a beer. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand German. So, um, oh, it says like lemonade in there. So, probably a soda. Okay, couple of what? Is that water in a glass bottle? Well, I'll be, huh? Oh, I bet you it's sparkling water. Okay. Again, I'd have to Google Translate some of that, but I bet you it's sparkling water. Oh, gut, gut, Besser. Yeah, I don't know if that's a beer or not. Oh, alcohol 2% by volume. So, yeah, there's something. So there's something good in there. All right, all right, well, that's cool. I, I just can't get over how small this fridge is. Like, <laughs> this is not going to work for me if the, this is how the fridges are around here. I got all sorts of... Yeah, I give them A plus for uh, selection here. Pretzels? Heck yeah. Oh, some more wine up here. All right. Okay, well, cool. Oh, the prices. Let's check that out. Hmm. Uh, doesn't seem to be... Oh, sparkling water? Hey, they even have... Okay, here, they have it translated here. Oh, imagine that. Um, yeah, I mean, probably typical prices for any hotel fridge, so not not bad at all. Oops, sorry. 
Okay. Um, let's see here. Moving on. Yep, the, the room is very small compared to what I'm used to. Um, but practical. I, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. The bed is different. Um, I, I should look up some of these people again. I'm embarrassed that I don't know this. I, I walked in at first thought there were three stooges, but there's more than three of them. So, um, kind of put that together. I'm sure there's some important folks, so I shouldn't, shouldn't probably open up my mouth until I look un, into it. But they give you one blanket, and it, it did have some schnurble on it. I have no idea what that is. I don't really want to know. Um, but a one thick, fluffy comforter. Unless I'm missing something, maybe I should be sleeping under. No. I, so, yeah, I just, when I took my nap, I just crashed under that. Keeps down on the on the cleaning tasks, I suppose. Okay, the bathroom. Oh, yeah, they got these funky switches here. On, off. Bathroom's actually quite nice. Frosted glass there, and then um, toilet, regular toilet. To flush the toilet, you push on this. So that was a little different. Really nice big sink. Really, you know, nice... Nice size full shower, adjustable shower head and all that. And that's it, no closet, no nothing, one towel. But really all you need. Oh yeah, the European plug, pretty cool. I uh, haven't smoked any of my stuff yet, so I must be doing something right. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much, oh, we do have a closet over here. Ooh, bottle opener. Yeah. Oh, a little safe. Okay, good. Hang your clothes. Bottle opener. Ooh, is that for laundry? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need some laundry here later. Oh, yes. Yes, big score. All right. Well, that's all I have for now. Um, yeah. We'll do one more final shot of the Danube. Flowing strong. All right. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video.